Hello and welcome to Zoo TV, I'm Bryce Ronquillo. And I'm Anthony Jax here with your news update this week. Last week, as many already know, APU announced Dr. Paul Ferguson will take over as the 17th president of the university, succeeding John Wallace. Ferguson has an impressive background in higher education and APU will be his third time serving as president of a university. He previously served as president of Ball State University in Indiana from 2014 through 2016 and is currently the founding dean of the School of Science, Technology and Health at Biola University. Ferguson said he is excited to meet people and give direction to the university moving forward. He will officially take over presidential duties on June 1st. And on Saturday, APU invited students, faculty, and friends to honor John Wallace in his more than four decades of service. This event was held in the Felix Event Center and featured speakers that shared of the multiple programs and facilities that Wallace created and expanded during his time as president. He is also credited for helping grow the student body to 5,000 undergraduate and 6,000 graduate students. Santiago Meado, who is the president of Compassion International, said that Wallace, quote, helped this place look like heaven in regard to the diversity of the student body. Wallace was president for 19 years. Jennifer Walsh, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, will leave APU at the conclusion of this year as well. Walsh will have completed her 15 years at the university and has made many efforts to shape curriculum and impact students' lives. She is responsible for APU's new Center for Public Affairs in Sacramento that will change the way undergraduate and graduate students can engage in public service. Walsh, who is a political scientist at heart and a Southern California native, will take over on June 1st as Provost and Senior Vice President of Hawaii Pacific University in Honolulu. And Woody Morwood, who serves as the campus pastor, will also be leaving APU at the end of this year. He announced his decision alongside campus pastor Tatiana Leonard and two administrators on Monday during morning chapel. Morwood said that he believes that he is being called into, quote, a new transition of life. He has been involved in young adult and student ministries for nearly 30 years, with 15 of them being here at APU. The Board of Trustees gifted him and his wife Julie with the trip of a lifetime, including a vacation to Athens, Greece. This trip being given for, for his service to God and the school. We'll have more development to the story on zoonews.com. Now to some sports headlines, starting with the Cougar baseball team. Junior Griffin Herrera was named PacWest Player of the Week for the second time this season, and junior Nick Estrella was selected as the PacWest Pitcher of the Week. The duo helped lead the Cougars, who are ranked 13th in the nation, to a four-game sweep against Concordia over the weekend. The Cougars will travel to Academy of the Art for a four-game series starting at noon this Friday and Saturday. And also over the weekend, the men's tennis team, ranked 15th in the nation, pulled out an impressive 4-3 win over at UCSD at home. Then the win, which was the Cougars' 20th of the season, is the 500th career win for head coach Mark Boren. They will travel to Surprise, Arizona to take on Point Loma on Thursday in the first round of the PacWest men's tennis tournament. For more sports news and game stats, visit athletics.apu.edu. And now we got you caught up on the news this week. I'm Bryce Ronquillo alongside Anthony Jex. You can stay connected with breaking news and the latest updates by following Zoo Media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and by visiting our website, zoonews.com.